What's up welcome back, it's your Tech Dude here again. Ngayong araw may bago na naman tayong gadget na i-review which is a Wi-Fi camera. This is the TP-Link Tapo C200 that you could buy on Shopee or Lazada. And we are gonna be looking at on how to set up this Wi-Fi camera and it's fairly easy. Uh, so that you could uh, remote control it via your smartphone anytime, anywhere. But before we get started, just a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy licensed keys. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the buy now button. I know their licensed keys are already cheap but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. Alright, going back, let's now go ahead and silipin natin kung ano yung laman nitong TP-Link Tapo C200 Wi-Fi Camera. Ayan, ASMR time muna tayo. Let's open the, the TP-Link or Tapo C200 and let's find out kung ano yung included dito sa uh, CCTV or Wi-Fi Camera ni TP-Link. When opening the box, here's what you'll be getting first. You'll get this. I think this are the manuals and uh, uh, quick start guide. Yeah, this is the quick start guide with the instructions on it. Next, you'll be getting the actual um, adapter right here or the power adapter. Mahaba-haba yung wire niya. So definitely, haabot siya dun sa camera. And of course, the actual uh, Wi-Fi camera right here, the C200 Tapo camera. Looking at the highlighted features nitong Tapo C200 Wi-Fi camera, it first has a motion detection and notification feature, and it also has a night vision capabilities up to 30 feet yung makikita nyo using its night vision feature and it also has a 1080p resolution on its camera as the, the highest quality setting although it doesn't have still the 4k resolution but most likely the 1080p would be more than enough na to capture high quality footages or cctv or surveillance camera footages it also supports 128 GB of micro sd cards so that's more than enough na especially for this little camera alone let's now go ahead and set this one up onto our mobile phone and i-connect na rin natin siya sa wifi natin Ito lang yung kailangan natin para masetup yung Wi-Fi camera. First, itong smartphone natin. Second is the power adapter. And of course, lastly, the Wi-Fi camera itself. I'm gonna be demonstrating using an Android. So, let's go ahead and search Tapo on Google Play Store. And TP-Link Tapo, i-install lang natin siya. After that, let's now go ahead and open up the app. And uh, let's just go ahead and agree on this privacy policy in terms of views. So currently, meron na akong account dito sa app na to ni TP-Link. So I'm just gonna be logging in my account. Alright, nakalagin na ako. So let's just put this one down right here. And uh, kailangan na natin isaksak itong power adapter. And I plugged this already. So I'm just gonna be plugging it on the Tapo uh, C200. As you can see, it starts to light up the LED indicator on the uh, Wi-Fi camera. After nyan, click lang natin tong Tapo C200 dun sa app. And we wait lang natin hanggang mag-blink na yung LED indicator dun sa Tapo C200 Wi-Fi camera ng ganyan. As you can see on the screen, dapat nagbe-blink tong LED dito. So we're just gonna be waiting for a while. Ayan, as you can see, it starts to blink na. So, let's go ahead and click on the next button and hit the enable on the turn on location. Baba ko lang muna tong uh, Wi-Fi camera. Para umiikot siya eh. So, let's enable first itong location ng uh, or GPS nitong phone ko. Then, go ahead and go back and click on the next button. And it will ask to connect the tapo mahanap niya yung tapo and it will start connecting on the uh, wifi camera next select tayo ng wifi ko siya natin i-coconnect yung camera enter natin yung password hit lang natin yung next 
and it will now begin to connect on the Wi-Fi network. So kapag narinig na natin yung Wi-Fi connected, ibig sabihin nakakonect na yung Wi-Fi camera natin sa Wi-Fi network natin. After making sure na nakakonect tayo sa same network, click lang natin yung I'm already connected and continue. I-prepare niya yung uh, Wi-Fi camera natin and uh, let's put the name of the Wi-Fi camera right here. After natin pangalanan yung Wi-Fi device natin, click lang natin yung next and pwede rin natin iset yung location pero in next ko lang ngayon. Sounds good. And i-click lang natin itong got it. And nire-remind lang tayo with regards to other stuff right here. Pwede rin natin siya i-connect sa Google Assistant and Alexa. But for now, we're not gonna be connecting it dun. So, yan. Nakakonag na tayo and na-pair na natin yung camera natin dun sa ating smartphone. And here's the preview of the camera of the Tapo C200 and nakikita nyo na malino naman siya. You can also control this using the horizontal cruise and vertical cruise control. So, kung gusto nyo lang makita yung surroundings, you can just press this automatic feature or you could also manually control the IP camera or the Wi-Fi camera. Another interesting and useful feature nitong Tapo C200 Wi-Fi camera is itong motion detection uh, sensor niya. And uh, as you can see dito sa testing video na tinatesting ko, so uh, sinasundan niya naman yung uh, motion ko and napaka-responsive naman nung uh, Wi-Fi camera. And uh, yan, nakikita nyo na kahit kumagalawa ko even out of frame, automatic siya nag adjust para ma-maintain yung focus dun sa movement ko. This is very useful especially dun sa mga places na kailangan yung makita or monitor yung activities and movements. So yan, medyo nagtago ako dun sa likod nung upuan and as you can see, when I pop back, ayan, sinundan niya pa rin ako. So maganda yung ano niya, uh, motion tracking feature. Subukan naman natin yung uh, night mode nitong uh, or night vision niya. Ganito yung makukuha nyo or yung quality na makukuha nyo dun sa night vision camera nya. And uh, medyo maganda naman yung night vision camera nya. Malinaw siya actually. Uh, parang walang pinagkaiba dun sa colored except na black and white lang siya. So you can set that one to automatic or yan. Ngayon tinitest natin nakaset lang siya sa night mode. And ganito naman yung day mode niya or yung colored version ng camera kapag maliwanag or may mga ilaw naman. So overall, the design of the Tapo is really compact and all of its features are really useful especially in terms of monitoring and the surveillance aspect of Wi-Fi cameras. Gusto ko yung seamless na motion detection feature niya and it has a decent video quality especially for Wi-Fi cameras even at night. So maganda rin yung video footage na makukuha nyo dito sa Tapo C200 even during at night kasi maganda yung night vision capabilities niya. So what do you think with regards to this TP-Link Tapo C200? Hopefully nakita nyo na yung mga features or at least the highlighted features of this Wi-Fi camera. Let me know what are your thoughts on the comment section down below. As always, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, subscribe ka na. Till then, see you in my next tech videos.